the ultimate pocket hole base. Do I need to do this? No. Does it need to be this complicated? Absolutely not. Am I gonna make it this complicated? Yeah. All right, I put it back together. So the K4 is sitting here in the middle. I got the rails here. Um, I'm gonna have to get some longer screws um, to fit there. But this is nice and stiff. Um, the rail also stiffens up this long piece of aluminum, which is pretty flexible on its own. But now with this rail on here, that, that acts to stiffen that right up. Because um, this rail has a nice section that makes it pretty rigid. Not that it needs to be. Again, most ridiculous thing. Anyway, we're having fun. So, this is all put together. This is how this goes. Um, and I got our little carriages here. I don't know what else to call them. Are they going like this? Or do they go in like this? Nope, they go the other way. Okay. So they go in with the metal insert up. And again, these are plastic. So they kind of go like this. Right back and forth. And you know, my screw heads are under here. I had to get low profile screw heads. Okay, so this is gonna sit here. And now essentially what we need is a little carriage, or I don't even know what to call this, a, sort of an upright um, that will go here to make sure that when, you know, we piece of, have a piece of wood, just for fun, should just get a piece of wood and be easier. Um, our carriage will essentially hold this and if there's a thicker piece of wood it'll hold it too. So I'm gonna make something kind of you know wide like this and needs to essentially come out close to the front edge here and probably close to the back edge so you know a piece of something that's on the order of four inches Maybe a little smaller to make sure it doesn't stick past. And now we just got to figure out the height. So I need the height between the top of this and the top of this carriage. And that's what we need next. So let's go ahead and figure that out somehow. Let's see. Um, I mean, I can measure down from here to here and then from here to here and do some math and get it so let's uh let's do that first and see kind of what we get to so and this is molded so it's it's gonna be different probably side to side well let's get the zero first the hop glad i checked that So, 983. Let's try the other side just to see how different it is. Nine eighty one. Wow. Okay. So, let's write something down here. Let's call it 982. Right in the middle. Do it one more time here. Nine eighty four. Okay, so let's call it nine eighty two. And let's see, I want to make sure I'm on the carriage. I'm gonna push down. Three seventy seven. Three seventy seven. So let's just subtract those two and see what we get. 982 minus 377, 605. So 605 should be right there. Let's just make sure this is back at zero. Yeah. Okay. So 605 thou, 600, somewhere around there is the height. Uh, that we need off of this guy it needs to be something like four inches wide and fits on the carriage something like an inch and a quarter 
All right, let me find some stock. I'm gonna try and find some plastic, I think. It'll look nice, hold on. All right, decided this is what I'm gonna use. Uh, some nylon. I've machined it before. I got a big old bunch of it. I don't use it all that much. It comes in handy occasionally. And it's four and an eighth, maybe, in diameter. Clean it up, it's gonna be perfect. And I'm thinking we'll do like a puck, almost like a hockey puck. And I actually think that'll be kind of nice to, to grab and move. Um, now, it's, uh, most of the work's probably going to be out here often, because this is the front of the jig, um, out here. So this thing is going to be a little, um, cocked, but I think it can take that load, and we'll put it together and see how it feels. It should be fine. Alright, let me, uh, make up two pieces. I won't even show these, I don't think. Uh, we'll see. Go knock two of these out real quick and, and I'll show you. Alright, so I made up um, two plastic sort of hockey pucks. Um, I don't know if you can see that. And I put a radius on the top and two holes goes on our little carriage and fits right in there nice so I made them just a bit smaller than this so they wouldn't catch on anything and I think they're great they don't they can't come out then on this side they can obviously slide out over here um, but I can make a screw over there that has a tall head so they can't come out if I want. So pretty cool. Pretty happy with this ridiculous project. Just going to screw this other one on here. Buddy. That one slides on there good. I wonder if it matters how it's in there. Alright. Now they're on there. And for fun, let's just uh, see how close we were. As far as height goes. I'd say that's pretty close. That can't be right. <laughs> Let me do that again. That can't be right. Well, that's pretty close. I don't even want to measure the left side. I know that was slightly different. Uh, let's see here. There we go, that's better. Three thou. Something. Anyway, close enough for woodworking. I like it. Most ridiculous Craig base ever. Um, I'm going to take it all apart now. Uh, go ahead and sand or scotch braid or something these and then probably clear them. And then put it back together uh, final and we'll be done. Thanks guys. Here you go, a little bit of snow for making those plastic pieces. Alright, I went ahead and sanded the aluminum parts um, with my random orbital sander, which did a great job, cleaned them up, and then I shot some, uh, just uh, some spray polyurethane on them, cleaned them up. I didn't worry too much in here, they're going to be covered, but, you know, I think it got a pretty cool finish. Uh, the random orbit did a pretty good job, I thought. 
Anyway, so we're ready to go. So we got our three base pieces, the one long runner piece here. Um, here's our rails. We got our Craig jig, obviously, some hardware. Um, our aluminum pucks, I'm not sure what we're gonna call those with the runners, carriages, and a little refreshment. All right, let's do some assembly. I took a, uh, a longer screw here and I'm going to have a washer on it and it's going to go in the last hole and then stay proud of the track um, so not go into its countersink and that's going to stop the carriage so I'll put that in last. There we go guys, the beastliest, most ridiculous, absolutely unnecessary, awesome stand for the Craig K4 pocket screw, um, pocket hole jig. So we got our sliding rails with stops, lots of support, and uh, this is how it works. Piece of plywood, it's really long. Throw these out. And it's supported on both sides. And do something like this. Bam. Completely supports it. it. Looks like it's on the edge, but I got all this room for the rest of the jig. Catch you later. Here we go, here's the ultimate base for the Craig K4. We got 
aluminum rail here, aluminum feet, radius corners. We got aluminum extruded rail with carriages with custom nylon hockey pucks, let's call them pucks, that are the right height for the top of the base. They stop at the base and they stop here, can't go farther. Nice solid beefy unit. We got lapped joints there, I guess you'd call them. Lots of machining, lots of fun. The ultimate Craig K4 base.